Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel the Bago. This is the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. Did you know? Did you know it's 100% free? It is. It's 100% free for you to subscribe to the channel because we're not asking you to buy nothing. No, we say this in a lot of videos. You ain't got to buy nothing. Just subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel down below. Share the video, comment, hit that thumbs up button. With that being said, let's get into this amazing video. Y'all ready? Let's go. Have you ever wondered how motivational speakers build their audience and grow their influence? Today, I want to give you an inside look at one of the key aspects, one of the key things it takes to be a motivational speaker, and that is networking. But first, let me actually introduce myself. My name is Daniel Odell. This is my service dog, the Fluffy Poodle, and he helps with my uh, physical and mental disabilities caused by my time in the military. This dog right here and I travel around the world telling our story to help people find their purpose because if we can get through our challenges, so can you. But during all of that, I learned that, you know, you have to be able to network, to connect with the individuals that you talk to and so you can be able to get on those stages in front of those companies and organizations so you can really tell your story like we do over at Motivate. Now, I want you to understand when you're networking, forming those relationships, it can leave you with lifelong opportunities that are actually meaningful. And that's what this video is about. We're going to talk to you about the importance of networking, how to build lasting connections and the strategies that worked for me and my company. So if you're serious, if you're serious about expanding and growing your company or your social media or just who you are, then this is a video for you. Now, the first thing that we need to talk about is why networking matters. You see, networking is essential for growth. You see, it's not just about them speaking gigs. It's about growing relationships so you can support each other's mission and grow together. Every meaningful connection can open more doors for new opportunities. New opportunities to work with businesses, organizations, and people all around the world. You see, these partners that connect and align with your message will help you amplify what you're doing to a lot broader and bigger audience than what you already have which is key to find the right people that align with your view and your message and your mission with your company. The second thing that we really need to address is how to network. You see, one of the most important things I learned about networking is not just about collecting a business card. It's about forming a true relationship. No matter where I'm at, when I approach somebody, the first thing I do is offer them value. And you know, when I do that, it leads to meaningful or more lasting connections. Besides going up to them, I'm just open, honest, and really listen to people. A lot of people love to talk and a lot of people love to listen. And you got to find that right balance. Do some mirroring and some other key things when it comes to networking and talking with basic communication when you're in front of another individual. But that's networking in person. What about social media networking? There's also social media networking that's very important for you to start applying with not just yourself, but your business and everything in between is because you're finding the right individuals. You're finding the right individuals that align with your mission on multiple social media platforms. And sometimes that is the key to find the right people that align with your message so you all can become successful. And when you're on all this social media, you're also going to find a lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities for you to get out there and network. So I would suggest that you go to a lot of these events that are in your community and the surrounding ones so you can be able to go out there and network with people and like-minded individuals in your community. And as a motivational speaker, it's very key that you attend these events because these are the events that you're going to be out going to one day or that you're already at. These events also have people that will help elevate your career. So I, I highly suggest you attend some of the events in your local area. Now, one key thing about networking before you go to events like this is, did you know that you can prepare, do a little bit of recon? And what do I mean by that? Simply call up the people who are in charge, figure out some of the sponsors who are there and figure out some of the key individuals who might be there and uh, figure out their name, find a picture of them. You can search all this stuff on LinkedIn because a lot of these people who are supporting and growing these events are very like-minded professionals who are professionals in the business community. So why not be able to get a little rapport on them. And then when you meet them in person, you know, have you have a little bit of uh, key topics to talk with. All right, this is Fluffy and I's little secret. I'm going to cover his little ears. When you do a little rapport and start remembering the people who are going to be there and their names, you won't forget their name when you actually meet them in person. 
which is very important not to forget somebody's name. So that's something that you might wanna know. Now, when you go to these opportunities, I also want you to stay in touch with these like-minded individuals who are going to these events just like you. By staying in touch with people, they're often likely to introduce you to more people and build your network and build your community. But it's a two-way street. It really is. They're going to introduce you to people, but you also need to be introducing them to people as well. Because when it is a win-win for everybody, everybody is happy and everybody is always successful. But how does people overcome the anxiety to go up to somebody they don't know? Somebody who may be you know, on a different level than them or somebody who maybe they look up to? Practice, 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 practice. You're never gonna get better unless you practice. And here at Motivate, we use the crawl, walk, run method. First, crawl, that's starting out slow. Walk, getting up a little bit faster, and then run is full speed ahead. The crawl stage is literally just going up to somebody, going up to somebody and saying, hey, how you doing? My name is Daniel, what is your name? Leave it at that, walk away if that's all you can do. Hey, my name is this, what is your name? One sentence, walk away, crawl. That's all you need to do. After a while of you doing that, okay, you're gonna build that confidence and build that confidence and build that confidence more and more and more. And then eventually you can say two sentences, then three and then four. And that's the, that's the walk phase, okay? The walk phase is where you start asking a couple more questions. But then when you start feeling nervous, you, 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 know, you, don't, you don't back down right away. You, know, you stick through it a little bit, but it's okay if you can't go there and ask a lot of questions over and over and over. But then, but then here's the most fun and most important part is the run phase. The run phase is after you had some practice, just doing things, doing things over and over and over again. You can literally just have some conversation, just be able to get in front of the camera and do anything like it's natural. Kind of similar like what we've been doing for the last hundred and how many days? I mean, it has been a lot. Over 120, I think it's 121, 22, 23. It's something like that. We're over 120 consecutive days on YouTube. And you see it's been getting better and easier. And the videos have been increased. And the algorithm's been blowing up and all sorts of things. It's been going, going great, basically. So practice. Practice over and over and over again and never give up. You can't give up because how are you gonna know if you got to where you wanted to be if you gave up? Hmm, you'll never know if you got there, never know if you can get there if you give up. So keep going, keep going and follow them dreams. This dog is ready to go outside and go play. You ready, buddy? Yeah, fluffy break. But I have to leave you with a final thought before we go out there and do some training. Motivational speaking isn't just about speaking. It's about making those connections, making those connections and those relationships so everybody can grow together. Do you think that he'll come running and jumping and get this? Only one way to find out. Fluffy, come on, boy! Come on, Fluffy! Come on! Up, 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 Oh, he slowed down. So up, up, come on! There he goes, there he goes. Hey, uh, with that being said, normally we show you a training video, but today I wanted to show you a little bit of exercise, a little bit of play that you can do with your dog. Yeah? Oh, you want this toy? You want this one? How about you go pick up that other one? Normally in the last couple of videos, we've been teaching you guys how to train your dog, a little bit of some things that you guys can do at home, but we haven't showed you how you can just play with your dog. And that's something that we want you guys to see today. So from here on out, all unedited for the next, you know, four to five minutes, you're gonna see the Fluffy Poodle and I just playing back here, exercising the Fluffy Poodle. Rope and ball, that's all we need. Fluffy, a good boy? Yes! Literally just throwing it down there. Get, having them getting it. And if you haven't watched a video on how to teach your dog to retrieve, watch that one. I think it was yesterday or the day before. There's a good boy out. I know you're tired, buddy. Yes. Oh, it went in the bush. Go find it, buddy. So you have to be able to exercise your dog. And the reason why you do this is because some dogs have a little more energy than others. You see, he's still trying to find it. It gets them stimulated mentally and physically, so it really helps the longevity of their life of, with, with that dog. Come on, fetch it up, Fluffy. Good boy, good boy. You know, be excited. I mean, this is play. Here's a good boy, good boy, out. Here's a good boy, who's a good boy? Oh, I didn't throw it far, no I didn't. Come on, play with your dog. It's not all about training, okay? Uh-uh, have fun. Out, here's a good boy, yeah, here's a good boy. You gotta just go out there, spend time with them. It's gonna build that bond, it's gonna build that relationship between you and your dog, it really is. That's a good boy, Fluffy, that's a good boy. Oh, you wanna pull it? Yeah, you wanna jump? You wanna jump, boy? Jump! Good! Jump again! Oh, you got hops! 
Oh, he's got it. He's a good boy. Come here, Fluffy. You see, get excited. Use that voice inflection, physical touch, reward as in toys, um, know how to play with toys the correct way. And that's, you know, this is a fetch toy where they go and get it and bring it back. There's other toys like this one down here that's used to bite, okay? That's why it makes noise. You know, there's ropes that are made for pulling. There's all sorts of toys for all different types of things. And it's very key um, that you understand that so the fluffy out, so your dog doesn't ruin toys and they have a little bit longer with them. Yes! A lot further one right there, buddy. It goes way down there. Haha, <laughs> good, good one. Good boy, Fluffy, good boy. Play with them, play with your dog. I tell everybody that. A little bit of, little bit of time each and every day, a little bit of routine, a little bit of things like this will honestly eliminate a lot of factors. Uh, oh, it came down, it hit the tree, it came down. It will eliminate a lot of things that, a lot of um, negative behaviors that a lot of people have in their dogs. It will eliminate a lot of that because your dog won't have it on their mind or have enough energy to really have and do those types of behaviors. Yes! Oh, come down. All right, there it is. I'm not throwing pretty good. That's why I don't play baseball. That's why I'm not in any sports. You know, here in a couple days, I'm supposed to be doing like an ax throwing thing out, but uh, supposed to, keyword supposed to. I'm definitely not doing that. I can't throw an ax. I'm too broke for that. My neck's replaced. Yes. Oh. Good boy. Yeah, so I can't. It just, it hurt too much. I'd be in too much pain and I don't wanna uh, uh, mess up my injuries any more than what they already are. Here's a good boy, Fluffy. Here's a good boy. Yeah, here's a good boy. This dog will run all day long if I let him. You see, if I can play with my dog like this and have a little conversation with you guys, then why can't you have a conversation like this on your phone with your dog and play with them at the same time? Why can't you have a conversation with somebody else when they come over and play with your dog at the same time? You see, there's a lot of things that you can do with your dog, but you choose not to. And I'm here to suggest and here to encourage you to uh, play and have fun with your dog. Seriously, why not? With that being said, I think it's a prime time to wrap up this video. Until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear. Come here, Fluffy. Good. Out. Heel. Sit. And his green hair. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Make sure you guys like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have an amazing day. Remember to follow your dreams. And if we can get through our challenges, so can you. Y'all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.